Yes! Alright, welcome everybody. Um, towards the Mod Hawk project where we almost are done with the home hawk mark. Hawk, uh, hawk mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I spelled that correctly. So, uh, yeah, let's get started on this one. So, I'm gonna do this part over here and I complete that. So, first things first, we're gonna have the outlines on it. Like, I don't know how far I need to go. Good. And we're gonna continue first on the wings, which is the wing three. That's the part. So now I need to look for the layers on that one. Yes, that one. So we're gonna work on this. We're gonna work on the layer, and we're gonna pull out the wing now. All right. So there you go. Switch back the size to regular old size of. Uh, five. There you are. All right, let's get started on this. So, um, to get this thing whole, wholly, fully fixed, to get this thing whole, uh, fully fixed, I need to get from here to there, and then you know, eventually, we'll get this all done. Um, let's get started. Nothing ha nothing is more better than just, you know, being on a Monday and working on this beautiful project. See if that's the right size. Yes. Uh, it's a little bit too soft, isn't it? That's more like it. So I don't have to zoom in that quickly. I have to zoom like this. There we go. Much better. So yeah. I'm working on my great debut upon, you know, getting things done, so I hope you all understand that I'm now drawing just feathers. I think I should be able to use the um, there you go so eventually you know we're gonna be doing this again and then work on it I'm hoping to get this thing all fixed so once this whole wing is done, I'm then fully functional and I need to figure out what I'm going to do then. It's either going to be the legs or the body. I'm probably going to be using the body first. But the legs would actually be a better option because that way I can actually still shape the body if I need to by just placing the legs in the right direction. Which is a smarter approach. Because I don't know how I'm going to shape the body. Probably gonna shape it like a moth, but you know, that has its downsides and its good sides. I already decided I wanted to make it like a moth, but you know, it's sometimes really hard to do so. So, yeah, it's a hawk, it's a moth hawk, which you know, sometimes uh, these things are sometimes not how I wanted them to be. So yeah.
first things first is that this is going to be in our main body of the wing. So I'm going to make that sure that I'm doing that correctly. This one is actually the biggest one that I'm correct on the gap part. I don't know, but I'm sure of it. Yeah, it's, it's as big as I think it was. So yeah. Hmm. I'm still thinking. But it would be not real. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe put a safety sheet on top of the uh, on top of this thing, but I'm like, is that a good idea? Maybe. Don't know. It needs to be clean last time and uh, put in there. Oh hey Blue. Welcome to see you on my stream. I'm always happy to see you there. So yeah, I was thinking about maybe putting a safety sheet on top of the you know on top of the tablet, but I don't think it is necessary. I think it is that I'm already um, not damaging, but scraping at the at the safety part of the glass, and I don't think I'm able to scratch it even further. So it's like plastic glass, and then the other one part is fully glass. So it should not be that much. It's like a lens, you know. It's it's glass, so it should not be. A problem that I scrape sometimes. Oh hey Gemini Salami, what are you doing today? So blue, also how are you doing today? It's a lovely day today. I'm just thinking about how to maybe put some safety up on my tablet, but I don't think it is necessary if I have glass already. I'm using a plastic pencil, so I'm not sure. I know that my pencil has been shaped, so if I ever want to do, you know, replace it, I can because I have um, additional uh, pins for putting into the uh, into the pencil. So I should not be I should be safe on that part, at least. I don't have to work today, so I can hang out more. Nice. Nice. It's Monday. I'm like, today I didn't do anything reproductive because, you know, I was thinking about maybe writing today, but then I was like, I will do that tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm gonna be writing tomorrow again, you know, working on my part, which I made. I'm gonna continue on the creep factor. I need to make sure that the whole creep factor turns in great. It's really hard to write something like that's kind of spooky, the dread that needs to be there, you know. It's like um, a scary movie, but then not with a murder on the loose, something like that. But they now visit the murder place where, you know, the murderer is. They don't know who the murderer is or how he looks like, but they are going to be finding out very soon who he is. And then they need to fight for him from it. I've chosen the fight or flight motion and I'm gonna go for the fight motion instead of the flight because two of them are not uh, two of them are gonna be trying to figure out how they are able to defeat this mad man or mad creature and then the other two are trying to hold them off while the other just tries to make sure that he is not standing in the way of you know both of them well being in despair like holy shit what the hell is just going on so yeah that's uh, that's the idea what I'm gonna try to write like you know they are trying to go into a fight, mo a fight mode where they try to hold off the monster so that it cannot reach the people that are trying to come up with a plan the only downside is that you know the plan is very spooky the people are very spooky oh, well the creature is very spooky you can teleport around it's gonna be using that ability to go in and then go out again. So he will strike and then he will not strike. And then he will strike and then he will not strike. But his strikes are telegraphed, so 
that will give the people that try to hold them off the, uh, the upper hand eventually. But yeah, long live the hog moth, I would say. I'm, I'm getting close towards all the things. Once the whole wing is done, you know, I'm, I'll be doing the legs, I think. Because I would like to draw some big old uh, fashion claws, you know, the claws of the claws that will rip through the flesh of a fish to easy grab it. I'm just figuring out like should I go for four legs with talons or should I go for like two legs of talons and then two insect kind of looking legs. I was thinking about, you know, those kind of combinations like what should I do? Should I keep up with the amount of randomness in the creatures so that you know you have different kind of things that are all you know representing all the parts so I was thinking like maybe I could go for like four uh three bird oh well six bird legs maybe that would be a cool idea but you know it's it's hard to do it's hard to decide which and how I'm gonna do it I just need to make sure that I'm doing it that's all So yeah, um, don't mind me drawing these things. These these little things are the things that you know eventually create the texture that is important for the midsection of the wing. The only downside of this is like you know it's really repetitive. So the satisfaction on it is like you will get satisfaction once it's done. You're not gonna get satisfaction while you're drawing it. They are just little bub bubbles, you know, like. And up and down and up and down and up and down until it goes round and round. So yeah, I can show you already what how it looks now. Like there it is. You see. So yeah, it only gives satisfaction once it finally reaches to the top. So yeah, um, there, there. I am now out of words. God damn it! I should have brought some candy with me. That at least I would have told you told told you all about the candy. So yeah, um, the great news is that it's now November, if I'm correct. So only one, only three, four weeks left before no November is no more, and then it's December. I don't know. Probably. I think it is. Yes, it should be. So, um, in November, I don't know if you noticed this, but in November there is always this grand celebration for children in my, in my country. It's called St. Nicholas Day. He's a very nice and kind man. He's an old man in a, in, the ra in, the, in a red robe with white. He's like a priest that just visits and brings ch children cheer and joy. He's a man that always gives free stuff like candy, hands out candy, and uh, it's like a Santa, but then with candy. He hands out candy and other thing, other treats that you know he, children love. And he is the man who also gives you coal, uh, also gives you coal if you are not if you are naughty. So he's like a Santa Claus, but then you know more in our religion. So yeah, this man is old. All the all is stone, but he is a very good one. He's a very nice be nice person. Sadly, you know, um his celebration, his grand celebration that is normally posted on live television, he is now unable to be, you know, celebrated because of corona, because you know, we don't want the old man to catch uh, catch this corona. But yeah, it's a sad thing that sometimes, you know, such lovely celebrations are, you know, ruined by threats from out of things, so, yeah. Also, I'll give you a heads up. Um, if you know what your New Year's Eve is, New Year, so the grand celebration with fireworks, well, I think uh, this year we're gonna go dark in my country because um, the government is already saying, like, yeah, we're gonna ban fireworks this, week, uh, this year because, you know, it causes too many problems at the hospital most of the times, and we don't want to have these people overcrowded. I can agree with that. You know, it's normal to do so. Like, 
you don't want to have your uh, medical medical people working on other things than you know corona so you know it's it's important that uh, you know that it is a ban but it's a sad that this year it's going to be a ban on fireworks globally and my country it's a sad day but you know it's not like I was celebrating it anyway I was just borrowing the firework from other from my from my neighbors looking at it you know not paying a single dime on it which is always handy you know not paying anything just see something but yeah no that ain't happening this year so what can we then do well uh we also have restrictions already that we cannot visit each other or well visit more people because you know only two people can be visited at one at once at one place uh you no longer can go with each other to the supermarket you only can go one person at the supermarket again so it's all back in the old fashioned lockdown here i don't mind i don't mind it at all that there is a lockdown the only thing i mind is that i always need to wear a bloody damn mask wherever i go which is normal but i'm like eh, i need to get that thing again out of my pocket Takes so many, so many things. It's not that it's uncomfortable. It's just, it's just annoyances that I need to do for like, I want to get some breakfast. Ah yes, I forgot about that. I forgot that I need to brought my mask. So then I need to walk back home. So now I made sure that it always I have a mask with me. On in my uh, in my place, like yes, I have it with me. Look at it. It is already three or five year, five days old, but I still have it. So yeah. Something like that. I'm glad I'm not yet. I'm glad I'm still not infected or anything. So that's good. I'm glad I'm not even trying to seek it up. You know, I'm not even seeking up crowded places. Just you know, casually, whenever I need to get a food, then I will go. Otherwise, I won't. Otherwise, I will just play video games and do other stuff, like writing or drawing or whatever I need to do. But yeah. That's how life is going now. It's a lovely week. Not, not. It's sadly, it's not getting cold here, so I'm a little bit worried that we are already having a terrible winter again with no snow, which is trashy because I always like to have winter with snow. But yeah, that's how it goes. So um. I hope you all have a great day today because you know I have because I'm busy working on this and doing my stuff as normal as normal as it can get hmm this is a vague this is vague that's on the other one isn't it Oh yes, it is. It, it. Oh wait, that's on the. That's on the other one. That's on the. Uh, that's on the sketch. God damn it, that's on the sketch. I should have known that it was on the sketch. I was all worried, like, hmm, this looks fake. Why is it so fake? And then I try to erase it, and it's not there. So yeah, um, allow me to. Oh wait. Control, push, aha, there it is. My day has been alright, just kind of slow. Well, glad it went alright. Better take it slow than fast, I would say, you know. Most of the times when I try to do something, you know, I always take my time. Like, hmm, I need to do this today. And I'm like, how long can I try to not do it before I do it? That's always my goal. Like, if I want to do something, like walking with a dog, I always do it at the last moment. Like, oh, it's 12 o'clock now. Alright, I will walk you now. Because I'm a lazy piece of ass when it comes to that kind of thing. I always need, to, like, I, I need to buy a new chair, that's for sure. But, I am not willing to get uh, get a new chair that quickly. Because, you know, 
I like to wait for you know a good opportunity when a when the chair comes available. So yeah, I'm a very I'm very opportun opp opp opportunistic uh, words. I'm a very opportunistic person. I I like to do things my way, and you know, normally those things go well. But if things go not my way, then you know. I have sometimes trouble with adapting. The yeah. like surprise people just visit your home today and then you know you are like hmm I didn't know that people were coming today otherwise I would have shaved you know that kind of thing like oh people are coming oh shit I need to shave now walking with the dog ah yes walking with the dog too lazy to get my uh, too lazy to get my shoes on, so I'm gonna go for the sandals like that. That's why I always have a pair of sandals left behind, just just in case if I need to walk the dog and I'm too and I'm too lazy to do uh, do um, tie my shoes. Just in case, because I'm not I'm not the person that's gonna be like I want to play some video games, so priorities are gonna be on video games, not on doing anything else. Or I want to do drawings. Well, then the priority is going to be on the drawing and not on the on the other things like video games or social contact or whatever. It sounds m maybe strange that you know I have that kind of way, but for me it's normal that I'm shifting my priorities towards the target, and then once the target is finally done, or whenever the goal is done that I wanted to succeed. Only then I am um, able to do whatever I wanted to do in the first place. There you go. So yeah. Um, I need to put this on that part. Yeah, there you go. Much better. Much better. So, oh, of course, I need to then make sure that I have targeted. There you go. I'm kind of busy, buddy. I'm not going to doing strictly. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Uh, that's really good. All right. Um, yes. Mm, safe, definitely safe. Jeez, Louise, safe. God damn it. There you go. Safe. All right. Now we have a problem. We need to do either. Uh, let's get the body on. Wings. Oh. Well, look at that. I need to do that as well, but I'm gonna do that later. That's gonna be later. For that's gonna be later, yeah. Body. So we have this body that we want to do, which we're gonna do for, so the moth like body. Which you know is in right perspective of it, like you know, tiny head, bit a middle body, and a big bottom. So, uh, I need to get my I need to get my A game on this one. Uh, let's see. Gonna call this legs. So yeah. Uh, all right. Let's see. Do I need to go for the body first? That's the question. Because it's either going to be the body first, which causes me to, you know, um... Now oh, wait, I need to get this thing back to reset. Rotate to reset, please. View, rotate, reset. Reset, zoom, reset, rotation, thank you. So, I need to get these, wing I need to get these legs. I'm gonna put them right here and right there, if I'm correct. So that I have. 
Yes. But that's actually quite a cool idea. To go for that kind of look on the legs. So I need to have here one leg and then you know go here. Get the other leg right there. And then draw them all. Alright, so that's gonna be a thing. Cool. That looks nice because then I can go for like this. Hmm. I need to look at the talents of a hawk. Uh, just one sec, please. Hawk! Grant me your strength. I need to look at you. How many legs do you have, boy? Show me! Hmm. So the talons are sharp, but not big. All right. So the talons are sharp, but not big. So yes, the talons are sharp and hooked. Mm, that's a hawk. There you go. I can see some more better. So the hawks are like... Alright, so they have that slim body up on... Uh, they have the way of doing that. Alright. They don't have big claws. They have tiny claws with long... Oh my god, they have fragile legs. Who they have fragile legs? They have like... Oh yeah, that's... That's tiny legs. They have like this kind of legs. They have... Such tiny little legs. They well, the lag, the muscle is in the top part, with long um, paces, uh, whatever they're called in English. Um, the muscles are here in the uh, in the top part, and then you know they are connected to the to the to the claws, like in this structure. So most muscles are gonna be here, so that's why you know you don't see the muscles, but the muscles are definitely there. These are falcons. But what's the difference then between a hawk and a falcon? Because this is an eagle. But what's then the difference between a hawk and. Let's see. So, yeah. If we want to go for the hawk, we need to have sharp talons which are pointy. But the legs need to be powerful, but they now need to be long. They need to be tiny. So this is already different. This is already different than before. So we know that the legs are tiny. Well, the legs are big, so the muscles right here are big. But the but the legs. Yes. And then, you know, it's going to be like this.
So they are like this. Alright, now I need to make sure that I have a good position on them. So flying, they're supposed to be intact, so they should be like this, 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 and the other one is like this. So that's that's how they that's how they normally supposed to fly. So they're supposed to be flying like this. Hmm. If it is if it is like this, it should be better. But let me double check this. It's really hard to double check something like you know birds because you know you don't know a lot of birds. Well. Congratulations upon that part. Boop. So yeah, allow me to double check. Flying bird boy. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. So how do the how do the lags interact? Like that. Alright, so the lags are in the lags are intertwined. So the legs are in. So the the this is gonna be a difficult one. So you have the leg. The bottom part of the leg is intertwined. No. Why do I not draw this with big giant? And go, come on, come on, get back to five. It's evil if you don't do that. So the lag is gonna be like this, and then I have like this, this, and this. So that's supposed to be the needle line, but now I need to make sure that I have it correctly done. Ugh, bird legs. That looks very strange. Then I supposed to switch this to oh Come on, get that thing now. I'm not supposed to get this. And move it. I think I need to move this down a little bit lower. So the claws need to be there, but I think the thing's supposed to be on this palm. So if I would go for this, and I will select, and I will deselect now. So if I would, if I would now go for this. It's supposed to not be here. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense why it should not be here. Because all the birds have like that. So that's how it's supposed to go for. So if I go for that, that should be. Fine. Don't know if I need to cut it out like right here, maybe a little bit less long. They are long, but they're not that long. 
Yeah, no. I need to select the, I need to select this. And then I need to go from move to move it right over there. So yeah, this should be fine then upon that part because now I have like a now I have like a this might look a little bit too creepy but I'll fix this. This is just a sketch of the claws, not the claws itself. Claws are way different. So yeah. And because I now know how to do this properly in this part, I can now go for the other one as well. <sighs> this is gonna be a difficult choice, isn't it? Oh yes it is. Looks already looks already like it. So go for here. Get this right over then done. Get me the bottom line here. Yes, that's exactly what I want. This is a little bit too big this part, but I'll, I'll do it later. Yeah. Now I need to make sure that I have this part not there. This is supposed to be here. Like that. Boom. Got it. And this this then this part is way too big. See that this mm, natural horses. So I want these things to be not equal. Well, you know, natural laziness is like, you know, the best thing that you can have, you know. Natural laziness is like, at least then you know how to do things properly, because you then know, like, you want to go out of your way of doing things unnecessary. So, it helps really, it helps sometimes really well with doing things the way you want to do it. So, I want to copy this. Nope. And then save. Deselect and then paste again. Can I do that? Nope. There you go. I don't need this. <laughs> don't worry about it, man. It, it, it is normal to, you know, not to be able to do anything sometimes. Sometimes, you know, you just need the right motivation to, do, to start something and not every single time it works. 
Ah, all right. So this this is on this part then. Well, all right. Uh, let's see. So we have this. We have this. Let's see if this seems more better. Did I change the legs a little bit too? Yeah, I need to move that. I need to move that back way more. I need to move that lag. Why should I move it? Well, um, let's see, I want to have it then right here, right? Yes. Right there I want it. And then this like everything. <sighs> Let's see. This should work, right? Looks a little, a little bit silly. This doesn't make any sense. Uh, hold on. Because this one is like long, and this this doesn't make any sense. This part of the legs doesn't make any sense. Because this part is long, then um, it must be also long, which is the important part here. Then we can move, 
that right there. There you have it. Right. <laughs> I spent two days in bed before only going in. <laughs> Only got out of bed to take a bathroom break and a shower. After uh, that was after a particular bad week. Oosh. Ouch. Well, you know what happens. I also like to chill in my bed. It's it's one of the things that you know helps me relax. So yeah, it's one of the most coziest places I ever come to. So yeah, uh, let's see. <laughs> Now the lags make more sense. The sad news is, it looks really, really, really creepy. Oh, exhausted week. Well, you know, exhaustion can also happen. That's why I always work only one hour a day on this project, just to not get over exhausted, so that I don't have a, well, you know, problem with drawing. Uh, let's see. No, 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 no. So this needs to be a little bit more smaller. So we go. Um, yeah. I think I think this will work fine for the legs from now on. So now allow me to just get new legs. Emotion. Emotional, yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, so, do I want to have this also on this side and this side, or do I want to go for more like this approach? So, That would work. That would work, you know, with just one talon on the top, like one one sharp talon, and then you know it gets like this, it gets like this, and then you know it is just a long nail like that, and then like that. So my idea here is that I have like these long talon talon out outskirts, like you know, like a like an insect and then go here and get feathers so you know like feather 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 feather, feather, feather. and then again on this part long outskirt there you go I'm thinking about I'm changing this to here so that you can see it better which might be a good idea so we have this over here I have these things then and these supposed to not be there then they're not supposed to be so yeah you have here one and, and then go like this fada, 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 fada. And here as well. So yeah, um, I'm thinking about this kind of approach. It's just sometimes very hard to guess if this is the right approach to go for, but I think that would be. And I actually can go for like this part. I can just you know. Do this as well. It's not a fully. It's just a sketch, you know, where, where, and how things go. So I have this. 
Uh, let's see. So we have now the fully body almost. Like that. I'm gonna be making one more just to get the sign of it. So this is gonna be like here's gonna be a line, and then here's an open line. Like that boom body done. So yeah, I think I was about thinking about this kind of approach, and then you know for the legs, it's gonna be like this, right here. Put it right there. Put it right there. You know, and then And then up, and there you go. Something like this. Um, then I need to figure out how I'm going to make this static part. Of it, so I'm thinking like some kind of crystal in the back that has been formed. So, crystals that have a different color, so there is going to be a crystal here. So, mm, like this. It's gonna be a bling bling crystal, so yeah. It's gonna be a crystal in the back, which then is surrounded by, you know, feathers, and which I'm gonna be causing. A bit crystallized. Like that. Like that, or I could go for you know non mix. Eh, no, that would be trashy. Let's not go for that. Let's just go for aesthetic lighting. The staticness is uh, the electricity that is caused is by the light uh, by the feathers itself, which would be a better approach. Um, so yeah, um, this is now how far we got. This is now the sketch we did. Um, tomorrow I will be finally try uh, do my very best upon getting finally done with the legs of it. So tomorrow we're gonna focus on the legs, make them as make them as beautiful as detailed as possible, so that they have the same you know things as this, but then way more detailed. Now it's just you know sketch it, fully sketching. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow, um, and I think I'm gonna quit it right here because you know we are getting far. We have completed the wings now, and we're gonna then you know tomorrow we're gonna move on towards the uh, legs, um, the legs and the arms, which we're gonna then make pretty by you know using the same tactics as before you know with the wings. So that's the, that's the idea. That's also what I'm gonna do. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you really enjoyed this. And have a lovely day. Bye.